Bucksgrave Road. Friends David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals are driving down a creepy back road called Bucksgrave Road in Carlisle, South Carolina. David and Dell say that when they were kids, they witnessed some very strange things out on Bucksgrave Road, such as odd unexplainable lights and orbs. So, while driving down the narrow dirt road shooting some b-roll for their video in the car, they experienced something absolutely unnerving. That's enough to roll that. Yeah. You don't want to waste up all the, all the battery already. The camera's battery's gonna get my ass at. Dale. supposed to do ain't nobody supposed to be out here oh sh that just walked in the woods where where's the headlamp at the headlamp should be right there like he didn't like he stopped did you turn off the light can you see in there no i can't see i'm zoomed in i can't really see zoom in don't zoom in don't zoom in it ain't gonna help it ain't gonna help What the f What you going to What the f are you doing? The content play. What the f are you talking about? The content play. David, what the hell are you doing? Hello? I already tried that. He don't want none. I'm trying to hear. You dumb mother Okay, okay, come on. Damn. This is some dumb shit. This ain't even what we're supposed to be here for. Dude, I couldn't hear or see anything out there. It's so pitch black. Damn. Dude, go, 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 go. To this day, David and Dell say that they have no idea who or what the creepy stranger could have been. And paranormal or not, they claim that they have never been so scared in all their life. So, did they encounter some creep in the remote woods? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this entire video and many more spooky moments over on their YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Neighborhood Watch. Sarah Marie and her husband Bobby are having an afternoon get together with some friends at their home in Florida, when suddenly they spot something very odd at the neighbor's house across the road. It comes back the other way. Why? It looks like somebody's peeking through that window, the one that's open. Is no recording? Yes! Oh, it's <laughs> There's nobody in that house. There's nobody at all. Nobody. That I didn't know they could be that visible nah. though. This <laughs> That's what I was A strange shadow can be seen quickly moving back and forth in Sarah's neighbor's home, freaking out everyone and even seeming to upset their two puppies. Sarah explains online that the home belongs to an older woman whose son, sadly, had passed away. Worried about the older woman's safety, Sarah calls her neighbor. But the woman says, um, I'm not even at home right now. So who or what could this be? I leave it up to you to decide. The Ghostly Guest Over on the Japanese YouTube page, Kuroshiro Channel, an anonymous paranormal investigator, Shiro, who always wears a mask, sets out to investigate an allegedly haunted hotel room somewhere in Japan. The investigator says that recently a man's life was taken in an extremely violent and barbaric way in one of the hotel rooms. Since then, the room is said to be haunted. Shiro plans to spend the night to investigate. 
So Shiro sets up a few static cameras and a motion and voice activated toy dog. But during the investigation, the motion sensing toy begins to act very strangely. <laughs> A little shaken up, Shiro resets the toy dog and continues to investigate. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. え、待って、corner of his eye, Shiro sees the hallway door slowly open by itself. But when he goes to check, there's no one there. When he turns back toward the hallway, a frightening dark figure can be seen standing right in front of him. Shiro recoils in shock, tripping over his own feet. He quickly grabs his camera and gets back up, but the figure has just disappeared. Shiro believes that he might have captured the angry spirit of the man whose life was taken in the hotel room. But some of Shiro's viewers think that the apparition looks more like a woman, perhaps even the vicious entity responsible for the man's death. But what do you think? You can watch Shiro's entire investigation over on his YouTube, Kuro Shiro Channel. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Lights out. Unfortunately, there is very little information available on these next videos. The clips were recorded by a group of friends exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Kazakhstan. But what they capture is truly bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, 
Бля, вот ты, вы, конечно, нашли в плане. Бля, 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 A dark shape-shifting figure can be seen in an upstairs window, but what makes this footage so creepy is that the apparition only appears when they turn away their flashlight. When the group heads inside and upstairs to investigate, they find nothing there. The guy seems skeptical and just kind of laugh off the creepy experience, even though they can't explain it. But who or what is this? Let me know what you think. The Cumberland Gap Inn. The historic Cumberland Gap Inn in Tennessee is said to be extremely haunted, with hotel guests reporting many strange and unexplainable experiences. Lonnie and Neil from the Paranormal Investigation Team Tri-State Paranormal Investigators decide to spend the night in one of the inn's most haunted rooms in the hopes of capturing anything supernatural. And they do. Shortly after setting up two static cameras, they capture something on video that is right out of a horror movie. Something invisible seems to sit down on the edge of the bed right in front of Neil. Shocked by what he just witnessed, he calls out to his team member who quickly joins him. Now after several attempts at trying to debunk what they've captured, Neil and Lonnie have no idea how the mattress could have sunk down in such a way, especially since it would require a great deal of force on the bed. So could this be paranormal evidence that the Cumberland Gap Inn is haunted? You decide. Guardian Angel Only a few months ago, TikTok user Tana Witt went through a devastating tragedy when her brother suddenly and without warning passed away. Tana's brother was incredibly close to her family, including her two-year-old daughter, Evelyn. One night, Tana and her daughter are home alone when something happens that shocks Tana to her core. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Evelyn, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Evelyn seems to be talking to someone that we can't see. And creepiest of all, a whispering male voice can be heard that seems to say, Uncle. talking to even stranger baby Evelyn seems to have heard the voice as she happily shouts uncle over and over uncle. who are you talking to uncle. Uncle. 
Anna believes that without a doubt her two-year-old daughter is speaking with her deceased brother and that Evelyn is being looked after by her loving uncle from the other side. The Tainted Temple Popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore the abandoned Masonic Temple in Cleveland, Ohio. The temple was built in 1916 by Freemasons, a secret society that is shrouded in mystery. Freemason members have included politicians, scientists, writers, and many of the world's cultural elite. Throughout the many years, it has been said that the Freemasons hold secret meetings and perform strange cryptic rituals. Some have even made wild claims that certain Masonic rites and ceremonies include a sacrifice. The Cleveland Masonic Temple shut down in 1969 and has been left to rot for over 50 years. Chris attempts to record and capture the architectural beauty found inside the building before it's gone forever. But he quickly realizes that he might have made a terrible mistake. touched me, I swear to God. I swear to God, it felt like someone just touched my back. I don't know if it was my book bag flopped on my back or what. It scared the f out of me, I swear to God. And there's no water drips. Yo, that scared the f out of me. Okay, let me calm down. Chris says he feels like something is touching his back, but there's nothing there. After collecting himself, he continues to scout through the abandoned building. And this is when things get weird. Did you see it? Right before the door slams shut, a creepy face can be seen quickly moving back behind the door. But when Chris opens it, it's clear that there would have been no room for anyone to stand there behind the door. And the room is empty. Chris is shook, but he continues on. Later, just before he leaves to go home, Chris goes back to check the mysterious door one last time. And he captures something truly bizarre. in his door. Hold up. It's when I left this. Did I close this door? I cannot remember. See, this is getting creepy, man. For real. Hello? This feels really weird. It's closed again. Maybe it is the wind. Closing it. Right after Chris says hello, a faint voice can be heard saying yes. 
Hello. 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 So just what do you think is going on at the abandoned Masonic Temple? And is it possible that strange Masonic rituals led to the lingering supernatural activity? You can watch this entire exploration and decide for yourself over on Chris's YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Keep a knocking. TikTok user Maru75 from Germany claims that one night he heard some very odd sounds coming from his living room. When he goes to check it out, things take a terrifying turn. Maru hears knocking from the glass back door, but as he looks, he spots some dark figure moving behind him in the reflection. He spins around, but there's no one there. He turns back toward the door and the figure is gone and the door has mysteriously opened by itself. So is it real or is it just very clever video editing? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. Three's a crowd. Now this next creepy occurrence was captured by three different paranormal investigators on the exact same night. John from the YouTube channel Exploration Unknown, Tim from the YouTube channel Breaking the Shell, and Josh from the channel Southern Afterlife. The three guys are all investigating an abandoned farmhouse in Kodak, Tennessee called the Kelly House. The house is now part of a large wooded area designated as a bird sanctuary. But that wasn't always the case. The Kelly House was built sometime in the late 1800s and bought by the Kelly family in 1917. Now, honestly, not much is known about the history of the house, but many visitors claim to have heard strange unexplained footsteps and voices inside the home. Some have seen eerie shadow figures, and scariest of all, multiple people claim to have seen the eerie apparition of an old farmer wandering the property. So, the three ghost hunters decide to spend the night in the old abandoned Kelly house to see if the spooky stories are true. All three of the ghost hunters are recording, all at the same time. Now Josh hasn't been here, so he's gonna go in first this time. Look guys, you're watching yourselves. Hey. Wow. Wow. Not long into their investigation, all three guys are recording when John captures something downright chilling. All right guys, so I got the REM pod set up. So if anything comes near that, it'll go off. And this is the new box. You probably saw it in the last video. I don't have a name for it, but it combines an EM pump, ambient temperature readout, and it also acts as an echo box. So if you can come up with a cool name, drop that in the comments. But we'll be using that later. What he said. Pretty cool. Okay, guys. They're sitting there. But I'm Can't in wait to see what this house I has to say. see the little planet. They get Saturn. It's next to it. It's bright. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, somebody's coming out. No, it's Tim. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you ruined my moonshot, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> I already got it. You though. get it's that moon bow? Eh, it's beautiful, man. Okay. All right, Look guys. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. All right. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. Now all three investigators can be seen on video at this time. Josh is on the porch, Tim is outside in the field, and John is strolling through the house. No one else is there with them, but John accidentally captures an unknown fourth figure. Someone or something walking on the landing up on the second floor. Now John didn't even notice this bizarre shape at the time. He only saw it later when he watched his footage back for editing. But that's not all. Because while Tim is outside in the field looking at the house from far away, 
he too captures something on the second floor. Let's go in. Tim also sees a dark shape that appears to be wandering the second floor. Josh, who's outside on the porch, eventually decides to go back inside after hearing some strange noises. And he also captures, well, just watch closely. There's none out here. Tim's out there. There's nobody out here, except for Tim. He's down at the end of the yard. There's nobody out there, man. No. Except for Tim out there. Where's he at? He's out in the corner of the yard. Oh, yeah, I saw his eye out there a while ago. Did you see it? At the top of the staircase, in a room to the left, again, something dark appears to be watching and then slowly ducks out of sight. With three separate and distinct captures of a shadow figure and all three investigators accounted for on camera, could it be that the historic Kelly house is haunted? As always, I leave that up to you to decide. You can watch all three investigations on the YouTube channels, Exploration Unknown, Breaking the Shell, and Southern Afterlife. Night at the Museum. Nate Ratterman and his wife Kaylee own and manage what has been voted one of the most haunted museums in the world, the Museum of Shadows located in Omaha, Nebraska. The spooky museum showcases over 3,000 allegedly haunted artifacts, including a few very creepy dolls with even creepier stories. One of these artifacts is a doll named Ada. The story goes that when a family moved into an old house, they found Ada in the attic. Creeped out by the doll, they threw it away immediately. But two years later, Ada came back. The family found the doll right back in the attic where they had originally found her two years earlier. Now completely freaked out, the mother of the household took the doll and threw it in the trash again. Only hours later, and the woman found the doll halfway up the driveway, almost as if Ada was slowly crawling her way back home. The doll was then obtained by the Museum of Shadows. Ada is kept in a glass box to keep her from escaping. Over the last five years, Ada has been witnessed and recorded seemingly trying to get away again. This is some of the creepy footage that has been collected. On multiple occasions, Ada has been captured moving by herself. These are just a few. And as if that wasn't creepy enough, Ada has a few friends in the museum who seem to join in on the fun. Ada and the other dolls have become incredibly popular attractions at the museum, with many visitors claiming to have seen them move with their own eyes. But the dolls aren't the only things that move around in the middle of the night. Sometimes when the sun goes down, it's almost as if the museum comes to life.
But the strange activity is not limited to just the night. Sometimes it happens right in the middle of the day. So with five years of recorded footage and countless real eyewitness reports, could it be that the Museum of Shadows is haunted by the thousands of cursed artifacts kept within its walls? And would you go to a haunted museum? Tell me what you think. To watch much more of their paranormal evidence, head over to the YouTube channel, Museum of Shadows. Thanks so much for watching. If you listen to absolutely none of the rest of this, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you never miss an episode. Because my posting schedule is crazy and I'm sorry about that, but this way you'll never miss a video. Please follow me on the Instagrams here, on the Twitter here, and I'm even starting to post some new videos on Slip Slop, I mean uh, TikTok. Anyway, I hope I see you back here again for the next video.